How's it going? So I've had uh, a number of colleagues and, and friends and people DM me asking me to talk about my first triathlon experience and uh, the fact which I tell everybody that anybody can do it. So, uh, so here it goes. Uh, so my very first triathlon was the Minneapolis uh, Lifetime Fitness one and uh, I had recently had rotator cuff surgery and uh, couldn't swim at all. In fact, I had to do doggy paddle the entire swim. But uh, I was signed up for the Olympic distance try. They have an Olympic and a sprint. And uh, we had had a huge, like, terrible rainstorm uh, the night before and in the morning of, and really still going on when the try kicked off. And so the, uh, the Olympic bike course was totally underwater. So everybody had to do the sprint course, the shorter course, uh, even though uh, they had signed up for the Olympic. And uh, I was certainly saved by the weather and, and by the Lord on that one because I would have never been able to survive an Olympic distance swim uh, doggy paddling. So anyway, uh, did the swim. Again, I, I had, had rotator cuff surgery on my left shoulder. Couldn't swim at all. So, you know, do <laughs> doggy fell in through the water. And it was just, uh, the course was just up around some buoys and straight back. And the entire time as I'm swimming, you know, there's there's lifeguards all along the whole way on paddle boards and flotation devices and things, you know, and literally every every few seconds they're saying, are you okay? Are you okay to me? And I'm like, yep, just had rotator cuff surgery. I'm just fine. I'm just going slow. And then you get to the next one, same thing. Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh, meanwhile, it's storming. I mean, there's waves in the water <laughs> as people got up and uh, went around the buoys and they're swimming back you know, the, the uh, waves are pushing people across the buoys, so people are swimming straight into each other. I mean, it was just crazy. It couldn't have been more wild, but, uh, but super fun. And uh, again, survived the swim, doggy paddling, got out, you know, did the spring course. This is before uh, St. Paul, Minneapolis redid their, their, uh, the roads along the river road. So the roads are choppy, you know, you're bumping up and down, there's potholes everywhere. I mean, it's dangerous. You're literally taking your, your life in your own hands by biking on this course. And, uh, you know, of course, survived that, did a run around Lake Nokomis and, uh, and finished. And, uh, you know, one of the biggest pieces of advice I give to people for their first triathlon or marathon or half marathon or, you know, whatever the race is, is don't worry about your time. Just take your time and enjoy it, soak up every moment, because you'll never have your first triathlon back. You'll never have your first marathon back, or half marathon, or whatever the race is. You know, these uh, warrior dashes, or the tough mutters. I mean, you'll never have the first one back, so just take your time and soak it up and enjoy it. Uh, but uh, it's, it's true that anybody can do it. Anybody can do a triathlon, anybody can do a marathon, anybody can do an Ironman. You just have to have the mindset and decide you're going to do it. And then you just put in the work to get it done. It doesn't matter how fast you are. You just put in the time and you put in the work and you can get it done. Um, but you, I mean, you got to find out what you're passionate about, what you really enjoy. Uh, I will warn you that triathlons are very addicting. Once you do one, uh, you'll be hooked. It's just a, such, such a positive group of people. You know, so encouraging, you know, we're competing against each other, but yet uh, it's just so encouraging and people are trying to help each other out. You even see on like the NBC's uh, broadcasting of the Ironman World Championship, you know, some of the most fierce competitors uh, have, you know, shared water bottles or shared things and help people all along the way, even though they're competing and trying to, trying to beat each other in the end. Um, so anyway... I really encourage you to go out and try a triathlon. Many of the events uh, have, you know, sprint triathlons, which are short ones, super sprints, which are even shorter. Uh, most people, including me, unless you're a true swimmer, hate the swim. I mean, that's the, their least favorite part and the part that, you know, freaks people out the most. But in reality, you can get through it. Uh, you can get through the swim. There's lifeguards all along the way asking you if you're okay and, and there to help you out. Uh, throughout the time, but uh, hope you're having a great day. Just wanted to share that story. I have a lot of people that have asked me to share it. And uh, again, did my very first triathlon, 
uh, with a torn rotator, you know, torn rotator cuff that was healed, you know, post-surgery, couldn't lift up my arm beyond this and just doggy paddled it and uh, had a blast. Soaked it up, enjoyed it, was storming the whole time. I thought they might cancel it. You know, we were sitting before the race started and it's pouring rain, and but the race was on and so glad it was. And again, a little glad that we had that weather because I would have never been able to complete the Olympic, I don't think, uh, doggy paddling. Again, I could have. You know, you can stop, hang on the, the floaties with the uh, with the lifeguards and then keep going, but it's a lot easier doing a sprint. So have a great day. Uh, set some goals and, and go for it and have a lot of fun. And again, figure out what you're passionate about. It may be triathlon, it may be something else, but uh, just find something to work towards in addition to your everyday activities and work with your family. Just something for you that, that you can work on and set a goal and, and work towards. So uh, have an awesome day. Sorry I rambled on here, but uh, that's the story. Have a great day. Bye-bye.